Hello, welcome to the channel Pamu. This channel is all about mycology, the study of fungi. I'm Jimmy Tille and in this session today we will be learning about mushrooms. And trust me in this presentation because at the end of this session you will be fully acquainted with what mushroom really is. Now, in this world, there are lots and lots of organisms, billions of organisms. These organisms are broadly classified into three domains. The first domain we have is the archaea domain. This domain contains prokaryotic unicellular organism, meaning their cells are primitive. Their genetic material such as DNA and RNA is freely suspended onto the cytoplasm. It also don't have membrane-bonded cell organelles such as endoplasmic reticulum, nor do they have Golgi apparatus. And now the most plentiful domain is the bacteria domain. This, uh, this also contains unicellular prokaryotic organism and it is present everywhere. As you're watching this video, it's present on your screen, it's present on the keypad that you're touching. Now the third domain, the most interesting domain, it is also known as the most evolved domain because it contains modern cell known as the eukaryotic cells. These cells have well-defined nucleus and they also have membrane-bonded cell organelles. Eukaryotic domain is further fragmented into four kingdoms. The first is protista, then we have animalia which is our kingdom, then the plantae and now the most important kingdom that we are learning right now is the fungi kingdom. So what is a fungi? Fungi are organisms which are made up of eukaryotic cells. They are achlorophyllous, meaning they does not have chlorophyll. They cannot synthesize food like plants do. They are like us. They are a heterotroph, meaning they depend upon producers, plants. They depend upon the environment to retrieve or derive food resources. Now, to better understand how fungi functions in the nature and uh, to better understand what mushroom really is, we have to gear up with some important words such as mycelium. We have to know what is hyphae, spore, reproductive structure, aka the mushroom. And uh, to better understand this word, let me take you through a video which explains them with the help of illustration. Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, video. So on the previous presentation we were discussing about the important words that is related to fungi. That is very very important for understanding our main goal, the mushroom. So the important words that we were discussing is the first the first word is the hyphen then on this video we'll be discussing about the mycelium then we'll get into the most interesting part the fruiting body the reproductive structure that we all call it as the mushroom now let us use this example this let's consider this is a, a apple tree Let's use this example to understand what mushrooms are. Now, during the vegetative stage, while this tree is growing, this root here absorbs water and nutrients from the soil and it is then translocated onto the different part of the plant's body for its growth and development, for its vegetative growth and development. Now, let's say that this tree is maturing and it has attended the stage known as the reproductive stage during which the energy which were focused on the vegetative stru structures previously will be now focused on the formation of reproductive structure known as the flower. After pollination, after fertilization, this flower will be converted into beautiful structure known as the fruit. These fruit will contain seed inside it. So what is the responsibility of this seed? This, this seed is responsible for maintaining the generation, maintaining the species, preserving 
the species from generation to generation. Now, let's use this example to understand the fungi. Let's say this is the ground level. So a similar structure like the root, fungi also has a similar structure, but it is finer, filamentous, comparatively smaller, we call it as the thread-like structure. So what is the function of this thread-like structure? Let's uh, take a small segment. So this structure releases digestive enzyme or hydrolytic enzyme onto the environment where there is food resources like dead remains of plant, animals. So these hydrolytic enzyme converts complex organic molecule into simple soluble organic molecule which can be absorbed by the by the by this structure for the vegetative growth. Same like the plant, it also undergoes vegetative growth. So during the vegetative growth, the structure, this structure multiplies. It becomes longer, elongated. So now, what is the name of this structure? The small segment here is known as the hyphae. So when all, you can see lots of hyphae here, when all these hyphae come together, they are known as the mycelium. The collective name of the hyphae is known as the mycelium. Now, similar to the plant, it also undergoes reproductive stage. So, during favorable condition, let's say it's, uh, it has high humidity, during optimum temperature, most of the energy that uh, the hyphae derives from the environment is diverted for the formation of a reproductive structure that we call it as the mushroom. So similar to the fruit, the mushroom, so if you cut the cap of the mushroom, underneath the cap you will see gill, gills, uh, like the pages of a book. So these gills contain millions of spores. So in case of uh, fungi, the seeds are referred to as spores. And this spores is responsible for keeping the generation of this species of fungi. So now, what is mushroom? Mushroom is just the reproductive structure of the fungi, which is responsible for keeping its generation. It's just like the fruit of a tree. That's all. Thank you. And uh, if, you, if you like the content, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.